This is a demo of Replit.com showing the art of the possible. What you will see is a full stack automation and code development with the AI agent that's built into Replit.com. Although it's a bit buggy, it offers a hint at the art of the possible and the ability for anyone with a great idea to create an application to meet a need that could be an individual or an enterprise. Once developed, it's a simple process to deploy. So what did I use for a prompt? It was a high level prompt. I want to create an app with a chat interface that can utilize XAI and OpenAI for responses to questions. The UI should provide for a request from the user and display the results side by side for comparison. The application replit.com is really simple to use. It's intuitive. I've never read any of the docs. I just took, uh, played around with the interface and then you decide what you want to build. You provide that into a prompt to the AI agent. You click start build and then it interacts with you from there asking uh, things that it may need or clarifying questions um, such as grabbing the uh, API keys for OpenAI or XAI. It prompted me to enter those keys. Uh, would point you to the actual websites where you can generate the keys, uh, create an account, and generate the keys. So it did all that. I entered that information. I hit next, and uh, it went out and started building. And I'm going to let this uh, go without any commentary, but you can watch as the Replit.com agent goes out and uh, starts creating file structure, builds the underlying development environment, uh, including all the dependencies, add packages, starts writing the code. Once the code is written, it will then start uh, running the code and ask you to validate certain functionality is working or not. And from there, it's just a constant interaction between the AI agent and the user uh, to get to the outcomes that the user was driving for. Um, if you don't think of everything up front in your prompt, it's okay. You just ask the agent that you want to change a certain feature, add um, you know, a button or uh, functionality to the app uh, post uh, the initial uh, MVP that's developed. So what you're seeing right now is the progress view. The progress view is the default view that the AI agent brings up while it's doing all of its activities in the initial build process. And as you see the information scrolling by, what you're seeing is that it's creating all the files that are needed to deliver the outcome that you've asked it for, whether those be style sheets, um, HTML files, Python scripts, whatever language you've specified, which you can specify which language you want the application built in. You can also specify its dependencies. Maybe you want to uh, build this on Ruby Rails or some other technology, specific technology you know you'll need. Uh, maybe it's a certain database you want to use like Postgres. You can specify all those things and it will uh, utilize those as part of its build process. Now what it's doing is showing the web view. The web view is like your uh, a built-in browser within the interface so that you can test um, the outcomes that you've asked for. So it's now asking me to uh, test, validate the functionality that it thinks it's, it's developed. And so the user has an opportunity to interact with the AI agent and provide feedback on those things. As you provide feedback, it will then take that and choose to do um, other functions that it needs to, to, to do to deliver the outcome. The, uh, the other thing I'll point out is that it creates these rollbacks uh, points. So it's, think of them as snapshots in time. As it gets to certain milestones and you, you provide positive feedback that it's completed that task and that item is functioning, it will create a checkpoint so you can roll back to that checkpoint in case something goes wrong later on. Nice features. Uh, they've, they've really built a really uh, intuitive and uh, complete solution here. It's still in early phase. It's in limited access, uh, but uh, very promising what they've delivered here. So here, this is just me scrolling through some of the code uh, and the files that it created because I'm curious as to, you know, what all it did and how it did certain things and what kind of functions it created. 
Um, so that's just me scrolling through that. It's not the agent doing that. So it's asking me to verify some things, and I'm just happy to be looking. But what you'll see at the end of this is a functional application where uh, both OpenAI and XAI have now been uh, integrated into the uh, web app, and it's functional. Amazing what uh, you can accomplish with this tool.